prior to enrolling in autonomy, what were your biggest obstacles that were blocking your progress? I had some, I, like my biggest obstacle would be like um, my organization. Um, still working on it, but uh, yeah, that's that was definitely a big obstacle for me. Uh, I would have definitely have to put like time management and definitely easily overwhelmed in um, a lot of self-limiting beliefs that are, I feel like for the most part, unconscious and trying to be more aware of that. So I feel like that was definitely like the biggest things and being overwhelmed by those. I would say kind of a lack of confidence in moving forward. Um, I had been working in my mind for years on how I get out of corporate America, uh, how I gain more time freedom and kind of circling around the drain for 10 years, it felt like almost. Um, but I just didn't have the confidence to, to take that step forward. I was scared of what other people were gonna think about me, um, making non-traditional choices and not even non-traditional, well, non-traditional, yeah, non-traditional choices. Uh, and so just really not having the confidence to do that as well as kind of the paralysis by analysis that hits so many people. Like I'd always have this idea, I'd think about it, I'd do all this research, and then I'd never actually do anything. Um, also my communication skills. Uh... I say focus and then ability just to get, you know, sit down and get get things done. Been my biggest obstacles before I time. So before Autonomy, I was familiar with John Taylor Gatto's work and, and Rich's work through Peace Revolution. So I was already familiar with some of the biggest obstacles that people have um, starting the course and seeing them in myself, but the course just kind of, for me, helped me um, recognize those even more because sometimes you may recognize them, but you don't really recognize them in every area that they touch of your life. So I would say like the learn helplessness, scarcity mindset, um, paralysis through analysis is a big one. Um, and then just the organization, um, getting things done is huge and still something I struggle with, but I'm getting better and I have a more of a focus on how I can get past that um, now with the resources that autonomy provides. I didn't have a framework. I didn't even know <clears throat> what progress looked like. I had no idea what um, the, ro the roadmap was um, for me. So I really, I came into autonomy with nothing. Yes, it's, it was just a lack of focus. I knew I had the resources I needed. I had the, you know, the passion and the will to succeed that I needed, but I just lacked focus. So, you know, time can just slip through your finger like, you know, slip through your fingers like sand and I was feeling that way like I want to do more accomplish more be closer to my goals but I'm getting lost in the weeds and another one would be uh, uh, consistency like you know, taking uh, taking the next step like taking action for the next next step I like. kind of had so many projects open and it was hard to know if we were going forward or if we were just swimming in the chaos and so uh autonomy appealed to me in that way by promising to deliver tactics and strategies to accomplish your goals it was like you can see the finish line i'm gonna show you the route between you and it i wanted to do many things but um and i started a lot of them but i stopped um. And so kind of that whole thing, the scarcity mindset around that and not wanting to spend money on certain things uh, that would be good for me or good for my overall goals, my mission, whatever I'm trying to do. Um, but the scarcity mindset was really probably a, a big one. And then just overall kind of lack of, of organization of my thoughts, of my mission, of my goals, of my projects, and, and making sure I kept those in my mind and advancing them. So I just wasn't organized.